next guest has a passion for women's health. Dr. Ali Rod began her journey on social media in 2011 by sharing evidence-based information on women's health, pregnancy, and sexual education. Her goal is for all women to feel empowered and educated about their bodies and health. She practices full-time in Phoenix, Arizona, and she joins us from there right now. Good morning, Dr. Rod, how are you? Good morning, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. So what are the, the biggest concerns that you're seeing when it comes to women's reproductive health? Yeah, great question. So I think nowadays women are starting to feel pretty anxious and nervous about their options regarding their reproductive health, which is why I think it's so important that women have access to contraception as well as access to education around contraception so that they can make their own informed decisions. That's great. Can you describe the latest contraceptive options currently available and discuss their effectiveness, availability, and suitability for, for different needs out there? Yeah, there are a lot of great options for birth control. Uh, I like to start with the more basic ones or one that we're all very familiar with, uh, things such as condoms, which are going to be available at grocery stores or pharmacies, and they work great and also have the added benefit of preventing uh, sexually transmitted infections, which is so important. Uh, next option, I would say is emergency contraception. So Cadence OTC just launched their morning after pill, which is FDA approved and uses the number one doctor recommended ingredient, levonorgestrel 1.5 milligrams. Now keep in mind that the morning after pill does not affect future fertility and it works by preventing an unwanted pregnancy. It is time sensitive, so you wanna make sure and take it within the first 72 hours of unprotected sex, but the sooner you take it, the better it works. Other options for birth control are gonna be things that you can get from your local healthcare provider. So things like the birth control pill, IUDs, the implant, the Depo-Provera injection, those are all great options for contraception, but keep in mind that you do need a prescription from your provider. You, you mentioned convenience stores there. Um, how are they improving access to contraception, especially in areas with no drug stores? And, and why is this approach so significant? Yeah, so this is such an important issue. And Cadence OTC is doing such a great job of making the morning after pill accessible and affordable to everyone. So the morning after pill is going to be available nationwide at local convenience stores, places like Circle K and 7-Eleven. So it's there when you need it in case you have an oops moment and need to prevent an unwanted pregnancy. Another great thing about Cadence OTC is that it is affordable at less than $20. So many people confuse the morning after pill with the abortion pill. So, so what's the difference? Yeah, this is a big question and one that I receive from patients all of the time. So the morning after pill, it works by pre preventing a pregnancy. So it prevents the egg from ever meeting the sperm. So a pregnancy does not form. Now, when you start talking about the abortion medication, this works very differently because it works by ended and all ending an already existing pregnancy. So a pretty significant difference between the two. This is all super important information. I'm, I'm glad you're here for our viewers. Where can they go to learn more information? Yeah, so for more information, I definitely recommend uh, trusted resources such as Planned Parenthood, the CDC website, and of course, your local healthcare provider. Dr. Rod, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much. Have a good day. To learn more, just head to getmorningafterpill.com.